Hello, welcome one more time. Vinny the Car Guru here at Greenbrook Buick GMC Chevrolet and Prion with a whole new redesigned, renovated vehicle. I can't wait to show you. So let's take a look. Yes, yes, and yes, we have finally here the 2024 Acadia, in this case, the AT4 trim level. And in 2017, this vehicle was the number one mid-size third row SUV in the market. Now, 2018 came, and they decided to make it a little smaller of a vehicle. It lasted up to 2023, we got a lot of mixed reviews, people weren't too happy about it, so GM listened and brought back this amazing bigger, better Acadia, which I believe is going to be the number one and the market once again. And let's just start by looking right here in the front of the vehicle. And we got the beautiful, of course, AT4 badging right here on the grill of the vehicle. GMC, of course, right here. And we got a nice uh, Vader Chrome right here. Uh, of course, the uh, camera right here for the 360 bird's eye view. And of course, couldn't go without the red hooks as this being the AT4 edition. Now we see the headlamps right here on the C shape and a lot like the Yukon. Some people are actually calling this vehicle the Mini Yukon. We of course have the fog lamps right here in the corner. Really beautiful, nice design in the front. Now once you open the hood of this vehicle, we see a nice 2.5 turbo engine that runs on regular gas, married with the eight-speed transmission. And that goes from entry-level uh, Acadia on this year all the way to the Denali. Now on the side aspect of this vehicle, and of course, we got embedded lights here, something that we see for the first time on the Acadia. Really nice, they light up really nice at night. Gives more visibility for people to see when the car is moving, that's good. We got plastic right here to cover the wheel wells. And again, it's an AT4. We know AT4 is for off-roading. So if you go up in the mountains, if you go camping, you got rocks hitting the car, it will not scratch the paint. Now, new, of course, redesigned wheels on this vehicle with, of course, all-weather tires. And I love the aluminum brush with a little bit of grade all around. And these ones are R18s. And one of the things you can see also right here, me standing in the side of the vehicle is this, this is a little taller than the regular or what we had in the past uh, with the Acadia. So really nice and tall vehicle. Now in the door, of course, we have the cameras for the bird's eye view, like we saw in the front. We have in the side and in the back, and that's how you get to see all the car around when you're backing up and stuff like that. We still have the chrome button right here to lock and unlock the doors as long as you have the key with you. Really, really cool. We're still keeping that. We're keeping that, of course, in the back of the vehicle. Big, you can see these big windows right here. Tented windows, of course, for the privacy of the vehicle. Really nice. The light, once again, right here in the back. So we have it in the front of the wheel, in the back of the wheel. Like I said, when you're driving at night, you definitely want people to know you're coming. Visibility of the vehicle is important. So there you have it. Lights in the side of the vehicle. And let's talk about the big changes in the back of the vehicle. And one of the things that happens with this vehicle when you have the key with you is you approach the vehicle. And of course, it's daylight, so it's going to be really hard to show you that. But the lights go on in the front, in the back. Another thing that changed, in the previous model, we had the waving of the foot to open the lift gate. Not anymore in this one. In this one, there is a programming that you can do in the infotainment system of the vehicle so it senses the key with you and when you stand behind the vehicle it beeps three times at the third time if you're still in the back of the vehicle it's going to open the tailgate but let's do that and then see how much room we have now of course i'm going to just push the button right here and as you can see the tailgate goes open and 
we have the third row down so uh, if you can bring the camera in here and you can see how much cargo capacity we have the biggest change or one of the biggest change for the Acadia this year is the fact that we got even this room something we never had in the previous model and then when you used to pull the third row up we used to lose completely cargo capacity in the previous model now we got cargo capacity even with the two seats up a lot of cargo capacity and I'm gonna show you once you get into the third uh, row uh, how much room you have when you're sitting down but now let's push this button right here and close this tailgate and uh, I want to show you also the the sign right here in the back really beautiful nice LED tail lights why the LED tail lights are important because they're faster than regular lights uh, that is the difference between somebody seeing that you push the brake colliding with you or not and that's important safety now we have of course the uh, backup camera right here and of course we have the all-wheel drive badge right here it's an 84 it cannot come without and we have the quad exhaust another beautiful touch for now for the 2024s now one of the things the quad exhaust comes uh in any level right from the entry level all the way to the denali you get the nice quad exhaust and then getting inside right here very exciting once again we see a lot of cool features now and one of them being the panoramic sunroof as we see now on the yukon we got it on the acadia as in a push two little sunroofs now we got the whole thing the first uh, part of it opens up really nice now in here in the seats we got a little bit of leather with a little bit of fabric really nice easy to clean and then we see the contrast of the uh, colors right here with the brown piping coming up here a little bit of red stitching with brown stitching really a different a way to put it I never seen it like this on the Acadia before now we have of course the captain chairs with the armrest really nice and comfortable a lot of room we got the vents right here in the top uh, of the roof for everybody to be nice and comfortable heated seats in the back of this vehicle two CUSB ports right here and a little three prone outlet too so if you need to plug up your computer you could do that a little bit of cabby right here for maybe some loose change or keys and of course we got the little pockets right here in the back of the seats one of the things that is important and it changed also big time is the third row so you're gonna see me coming right here into the third row and see how much space do I get so even with these seats being like this we got a lot of room right here in the third row we got cop holders in the third row we got CUSB poor in the third row so people right here in the back if you have your kids or e even people in a vehicle with the phones that need to charge them you got a pull right here a pull right there we got vents so even the people in the third row will be nice and comfortable in this vehicle so definitely definitely an amazing design for this Acadia exploring the design on the door of this Acadia and it's fantastic we got a little stitching right there a little bit of fabric and a little bit of a looks like a plastic piece with a little bit of the Vader chrome and then now we have the new button for opening and closing the liftgate on this vehicle and let's not forget beautiful Bose sound system and the windows and mirrors controls right here moving to the driver's side and we have the nice carpets with the brown uh, piping around of course the driver's seat is powered with lumbar support also with the nice brown piping a little bit of fabric right here and black perforated leather all the way to the top of the design as you can see we see once again the pipe uh, the stitching I should say in the center of the seat and the 84 embroidered on the headrest really nice touch hey come over here have a seat join me and let me show you the incredible amenities that we have in the dashboard with this vehicle let's start over here in the site and we have the parking brake right here now different modalities of driving the all-wheel drive and the stop and go engine for those who don't like that 
feature they can disengage it that's really really cool we of course have the blinkers right here on this toggle with the wipers front and back uh, now uh, right here on the center cluster uh, beautiful again a whole new center cluster we're gonna push this button right here and I want to show you the different scenarios that you can have right here in the center cluster that is amazing let's push it one more time and we got the forward collision alert and other features as well push it one more time and we're back to where we started now we have uh right here the heads up display i don't know if it translates into the camera they can display up to four different uh pieces of information over there in the windshield now right here the steering wheel is nice and steady we got the nice brown stitching all around the wheel heated steering wheel and then of course paddle shifters if you want to drive these cars in a sports car well you could do that as well underneath those paddle shifters we also have buttons and this side is for the volume of uh, the music or maybe the phone call you're having and then the other side you have the same buttons that you can change stations or if you have uh, apps like Pandora or Spotify you can actually switch to a different song so again incredible now to the infotainment system and the infotainment system not only is huge i mean this thing is beautiful big screen right here but you get tons of amenities as well one of the things that you get is google assist so let's try this let's say hey google can you bring me to the nearest mcdonald's let's see what it does and there you have it now you can talk to the vehicle like that so you don't have to worry about you know getting distracted having to touch the screen of the vehicle now let's go back to the center and we even have Alexa uh, we have auto uh, Android Auto Apple CarPlay really cool let's swipe down and we see the ambient light so you can even change the ambient light and of course during the day it's really hard to see but that's a very cool feature as well let's go back to the home and of course we got right here the climate control in the bottom off and on we got dual temperature control we got the heated and ventilated seats so ventilated seats on blue heated on red and we turn them off coming down here we got the wireless charger very cool for those who have compatible phones it's nice and easy just put the phone there and let it charge we have CUSB and regular uh, USB port and of course we have the cap holders right here now by the push of a button right here we're gonna open this armrest and we have more storage capacity with a little nice tray that you can put in here and maybe put some loose change or something like that now one of the things that they did they changed the shifter from buttons over here to this little lever over here by the steering column and then how do you use this well you push the button go uh, towards you and up for reverse which actually puts the backup camera in the 360 60 reverse side view right here on the infotainment system now let's push it again that puts us in park and if you push it move it towards you and down that puts you in drive so that's the new uh, transmission uh, way or I should say to put the vehicle in, in gear now because that's here we go down here and we have now a pass a pass through of this vehicle a lot of space right here underneath it uh, which you know again more space more capacity on this vehicle we uh, go to the uh, glove compartment really nice very very big uh, glove compartment and we have the nice design that they give us right here on the dashboard a little bit of fabric right here a little bit of pattern right here uh, as well and again it, it, I'm lost for words on how beautiful this vehicle is one more last thing before I forget is we have the sunglass case right here I know a lot of people love that so I wanted to show it to you guys this vehicle does not disappoint and with the key of this vehicle, you'll be able to remote start a vehicle by pushing the semicircle twice. And of course, you'll be able to turn it off by holding the semicircle once. 
and also with the key in the back you can push this button twice and you'll be able to open the lift gate and if we push it twice again then you're able to close the lift gate as well okay ladies and gentlemen there it is the 2024 acadia a24 i mean this is the vehicle you want to wake up and see and you drive it every day hey don't forget to please like and subscribe i deeply appreciate it it helps me tremendously with the channel don't forget if you have any comments or questions put them down there in the comments i'll try to answer as much as i can and until the next one i'll see you